today's news. Today's news. CBS News on the hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. Thousands of people don't have power now around Corpus Christi as Tropical Storm Harold hammers South Texas. Odyssey New York meteorologist Craig Allen is tracking it. The worst of the effects from Harold are going to be to the south of Houston. There are tropical storm warnings in effect from south of Galveston on down towards Corpus Christi and to the Mexico coastline. Meantime, millions in Texas and several other states are battling another intense heat wave. KFPM's Mellow Style talked to firefighters in Orange. Air can't move on your body. Your sweat can't go anywhere. So how hot can it really get inside their suits? when they are fighting fires in these current temps? I would say it feels probably like you're 115 degrees on a normal day wearing that. Well, now it's 115 plus that, so, you know, you're looking up those temperatures probably in the 130s. The heat's affecting the south, southwest, and midwest. In Hawaii, it's still a struggle for survivors and authorities searching for the missing after deadly wildfires. But pro golf is looking way ahead. CBS's Matt Piper explains. For now, the PGA's 2024 tour is still set to be held on Maui. If we're allowed to, if we're invited, if we're embraced, given all that needs to be accomplished, we will be there 100%. PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan says they want to be respectful of the challenges while also trying to help revitalize the area. When moments like this happen, this is when we're at our best. Its century tournament of champions has been held for nearly 25 years, just to the north of Lahaina. Two of 19 defendants in Georgia's election conspiracy case were booked today. CBS's Linda Kenyon. The two are Atlanta area bondsman Scott Hall and Trump attorney John Eastman. Both are charged with attempting to illegally overturn Donald Trump's election laws in Georgia. Eastman's charges involve planning the fake elector scheme. He told reporters he did nothing wrong. The family of a black driver who died after a run-in with police in Louisiana in 2019 want cops to face federal civil rights charges. That's the chorus of the family of Ronald Green, who died in police custody. A body cam video that surfaced two years later shows officers tasing and punching Green and dragging him by his shackled ankles as he screams, I'm scared. Police told the family Green died in a car crash, and his sister Alana Wilson says at the hospital where his body was taken. Even the doctor said something doesn't add up. CBS's Allison Keyes tells us the officers have pleaded not guilty. AAA says the national average for a gallon of regular gas is now 385, but in West Palm, it is closer to 5. It's too much to be paying for, for gas. Closer to 7 for premium. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.